Joe Jones here, Territory Manager for Linux in Orlando. A very common question I get for iPad users wanting to sell at the kitchen table with the iPad is how can I set up a wireless mobile printer where I can send my literature, documents, and proposal to print and simply walk out to my vehicle and pick that up? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. First of all, you'll need three major components to make this happen. Of course, the printer being the primary product. Now, what printer you use is very important. Integrated into the operating system of the iPad is a feature called AirPrint. And AirPrint only works with a select number of printers. Among those printers is HP's line of ePrint enabled printers. This particular model I'm going to use in the demo is a, the least expensive model. It's model D110. And it starts at about $60, and I've seen it as expensive as $90. The other two items that you'll need is a wireless router. This particular model is a D-Link. While the brand isn't very important, they'll all work well. You do want to look for something that's a long range because the best range that you get, the better range that you get, the more likely it will be to send wherever you are in the consumer's home. And then lastly, you'll need a power inverter to convert the DC power in your vehicle to AC power. And these power inverters range anywhere from $20 to $100 depending on the features and the wattage. I would recommend starting with something like a 150 watt. wouldn't recommend getting too much smaller than that. And this particular model was around $30. A couple of other items you may choose to use would be uh, a small extension cord and maybe some Velcro to make for a nice tight installation. All right, let's start with the router. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox this router, and we'll start with setting it up first and getting it ready before we set up the printer. I'm just going to go ahead and unbox this. Now, regardless of what brand you get, you should have uh, some form of setup disk and some instructions on how to set up the router. So from here I'm going to take the CD and the instructions in the router and the next step is to go to my computer to set this up. Okay, uh, inserted the D-Link disk into the computer and uh, this came up uh, as an auto run. I'm going to go ahead and click install router. It has uh, important licensing things to agree to and it uh, will start installing the router. Uh, what it's going to do is, is sync this up and give us an opportunity to, uh, to customize it. So go through the setup here. And you do this before you, you connect the router to the computer. But what you'll end up doing is connecting this router to the computer. Um, You'll connect the Cat5 wire from the router to the computer. This is a one-time setup just to get it initialized and to name it properly. It'll take a couple minutes and it will say that the status is complete. Next is where it's going to ask you to go ahead and, and uh, install the router, get it connected to the computer. So this is where we'll, uh, we'll plug it in. It's going to ask you to unplug the a cable router if you have one and plug it into your router. So if you currently have uh, your uh, if you currently have a router plugged into your computer temporarily unplug it and plug in the new uh, router that you're going to use uh, as a mobile router. It will tell you no internet's detected and that's fine. Okay, so that's fine that it's not going to detect internet um, because we really don't want to use it for internet anyhow. So we just need to skip through those steps by clicking next. It'll ask you to enter a password for your router and it's completely optional. Um, it will, if, I personally recommend not using a password. Um, you know, the idea behind a password is to protect people from stealing your internet, to coming in and bogging down your internet by by bouncing off of it. Since we're not going to have internet connected to this, 
I, I don't really feel it's that important to have a, a password on this. Um, when you we choose to skip this step, it will tell you um, that that it's a good idea to uh, to have a password there. But I suggest going ahead and skipping past that. The same thing with these advanced DNS settings. Just skip through that. Now here's where you might want to uh, to give it a name. Um, give your wireless network a name. In this case, I'm setting this router up for an individual named Billy. Whatever you want, mobile printer. No security. Once again, it will remind you that it's not recommended to do that. But since we're not going to have internet connected, that will just make it easier for us to connect our iPad to it. Your settings have been saved. It'll verify the settings. Okay. Once it uh, verifies the settings, uh, your router is pretty much good to go. You'll get this uh, message that congratulations, your router has been configured. Now with the router already configured and set up, we're ready to move on to the unboxing of the printer. So go ahead and do that. The D110 does come with a, a disk to set it up, uh, set up a driver with the printer. If you're going to use this with a laptop or with a desktop, you want to go ahead and install that and follow the instructions. If you're going to use it with an iPad, we don't necessarily need that. So we'll go ahead and take off all the packaging. And don't forget to take out the cardboard from inside as well. And then inside this bag we'll find the power cord and some ink. It might be best to wait for it to completely reset before we attempt to install the ink cartridges. And the ink cartridges can be a little tricky to get in. So now I'm connecting it to a Wi-Fi router that does have internet. And when you see this it's going to uh, attempt to connect once it, it connects, it's going to inform you that it needs to download new firmware. That new firmware, firmware is important for it to be able to work seamlessly with the iPad. So this is a very important step not to skip or it will not work properly. And then it's going to tell you that an update is required and it's going to download that update. This is very important. A lot of the questions that I get as to why it doesn't work whenever people go through and set this up, it's because they never connected it to a Wi-Fi router that had internet. You must first connect it to that, download the firmware, then it can work with the iPad. So that's what we're doing now, it's downloading that firmware. So now that the firmware has been downloaded and updated, it's time to go ahead and switch to the router that we set up. We're going to switch the, uh, the Wi-Fi settings on here to automatically connect now to that router. Now that you have it connected to the router that you just set up, it's time to put it to the ultimate test, and that's to print a page. So to do that, I'm going to go on the iPad and first go to settings. I want to make sure that my Wi-Fi is turned on and that I'm connected to the network that I just set up. Billy's Mobile Printer is the name of this, so I want to make sure I'm not connected to any other network. Once I have the printer set up, it will always by default connect to that. So I'm going to go back to a proposal page here that I have and click print page. I'm going to select the printer. There it found the D110 uh, Photo Smart. And the page I'm printing is 6. I'm going to select the range, even the number of copies. And now I'm sending it to print. I'll see in the tray there that print center comes up and it's actually sending it wirelessly now right from here. And I did this without having internet connected to the router, so this would work fine set up out in my vehicle. So now I see that it works just fine. It printed my proposal that I created on the iPad, and if this would have been out of my car, it would have done the same thing. So now what I'm going to do is the next step is go ahead and make this a little more compact and get it ready to go out in my vehicle. So to do that, I'm going to take this router 
and I'm going to use uh, some Velcro. So using a little bit of Velcro, I'm going to go ahead and mount this router in the cubbyhole area to kind of make it a nice clean installation of the printer. some of these twisty ties that came with it. So I don't have a bunch of cables and cords all over the place. Now, just using a little bit of Velcro, I can easily take that apart if I ever needed to, to get to that, but it's all in there pretty compact and ready to be plugged in. A nice compact power inverter. printer ready to go into my vehicle. There you have it, a wireless printer. All set up. So there you have it, uh, we set up a wireless printer and got it all ready to go and we're set. So wherever I'm at in the customer's home, I can send to print all my literature, my proposal, all of my information, I don't have to carry in a printer, I simply walk out to my vehicle and grab that wirelessly. Hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or a better way to do this, uh, please leave a comment and let me know. Thanks.